Good afternoon, my name is PTI Sergeant Ramirez. The next thing we're gonna be covering is that obstacle course. First thing we're gonna cover is those safeties. Safety is paramount. First safety I wanna cover is whenever you come off in high obstacle, you're gonna bend at the knees and you're gonna to touch the mulch. That next safety, at no time when you're coming off a high obstacle, will you twist in mid air. You will come down naturally and then turn and go. That last safety is gonna be at all times, there's two lanes on the old course. You will kick your feet outboard. By outboard, I mean if I'm on this lane, my feet are gonna be kicking to the right. And if I'm on this lane, my feet are gonna be kicking to the left. Now we're gonna go into the old course techniques. With these techniques, I'll be aided by PTI, Captain Schmazinski. PTI, Corporal Lanier. That first obstacle on your old course is that low vault. The primary method is one hand, no feet. It'll look like this. For that alternate method, all it is, one hand, one foot, it'll look like this. That next obstacle is what we call the single horizontal bar. There's two methods. That primary method is what we call a college boy row. All you're gonna simply do is you're gonna grab that bar with both hands. You're gonna bring your waist up to that bar. From here, you're gonna swing your legs over, swinging the rest of your body over too. Come down, let go of the bar, bend at the knees, touch mulch, continue on. The alternate method for that single horizontal bar, all you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to that bar, you're gonna immediately chicken wing. Once you chicken wing, make sure both knuckles are high to the sky. From here, you're gonna take that outboard leg, you're gonna place it on top of the bar. With that inboard leg, you're gonna use it as a kickstart. From here, once you kickstart, you're gonna shoot that chicken wing arm across the bar. From here, you're gonna place both hands on top of that bar. Again, coming the rest of your body over, bend at the knees, touch mulch, continue on. That next obstacle is called the combination. For the combination, that primary method, all you're simply going to do is you're going to get on top of the log. From there, you're going to jump and center yourself on two bars. You're going to grab that horizontal bar. You're going to swing your legs through, placing both ankles on top of those bars. From here, all you're going to do is bring your upper body up. And again, you're going to shimmy down with your upper body. Once you get to the logs, all you're gonna do is you're gonna transition to one log, confidently walking down that one log. For demonstration purpose only, PTI is gonna stop right there. That alternate method for the combination. Again, the PTI is gonna get on top of the log. He's gonna place himself center on one bar. From here, he's gonna grab that horizontal bar. He's gonna shoot his legs through, placing both ankles, wrapping them on top of that one bar. From here, he's gonna come down like he would a rope, hand under hand. Once he gets down, he's gonna place his lower legs all to one side, hook them under the logs. From here, he's gonna raise his upper body up and he's just gonna to transition to two logs, walking himself down confidently. For demonstration purpose only, PTI is gonna stop right there. Next one is gonna be the dismount of the combination. There's three methods. That first method is gonna be two hands, no feet. That alternate method, that alternate method, it's gonna be two hands, one foot. And for that third method, that third method, all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on the log. From there, you're gonna transition the rest of your body on top of that log. You're gonna wrap your ankles and your hands. You're gonna hug that log and go forward. Once you come down, you're gonna unhook your ankles, bend at the knees, touch mulch and continue on. All right, that next obstacle is that six foot wall. The primary method is all upper body. All you're simply gonna do is you're gonna grab the top of the wall and you're just gonna use all upper body to get to that top of that wall. That alternate method, that alternate method, again, you're gonna come up to the six foot wall, you're gonna grab the top of the wall and you're gonna use your lower body, shimmy your legs, to get to the top of that wall. So for the dismount of the six foot wall, the primary method, all you're gonna do is you're gonna push up and out. That ultimate method, 
All you're going to do is you're going to place both hands on the opposite side of that wall. From here, you're going to let your body completely hang down. Chin high to the skies. Let go and continue on. That next obstacle is your high vault. The primary method is two hands, no feet. The alternate method to the high vault is two hands, one foot. It'll look like this. For that third method, all you're going to do is you're going to come up to the, the log. You're going to place your body on top of the log. Again, single bound and continue on. The next obstacle is going to be that four vault combination. That primary method, two hands, no feet, single bound in between. That alternate method, again, for that four ball combination, two hands, one foot, single bound in between. For that third method on the four ball combination, all you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to the, the log, you're gonna place your body on top of the log, again, single bound, and continue on. That next obstacle we're gonna cover is that double horizontal bar. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna come up to the obstacle, you're gonna immediately grab the bottom bar. From there, you're gonna chicken wing, reach up. Once you chicken wing and reach up, you're gonna take that inboard leg, put it on the bottom bar. That outboard leg, you'll place it on that top bar. From there, you'll transition your upper body to the top bar. Transition your legs over and then dismount you know, and continue on. That alternate method for that double horizontal bar, all you're gonna do, again, you're gonna approach the obstacle, you're gonna chicken wing, reach up. Once you chicken wing and reach up from here, you're gonna take that outboard leg, place it on that lower bar. With your inboard leg, you're gonna place that inboard leg in between your, your leg, your outboard leg, and the bar. Once you've done that, Place that outboard leg on the top bar. From there, you'll transition your upper body to that top bar. Once you transition to that top bar, in order to dismount, you place both hands on that top bar. Bring the rest of your body over towards the way you're going on the old course. And all you're gonna do from here, simply look high to the sky, let go. That last obstacle on the old course is that rope climb. There are two techniques. For that first technique we're going to cover is called the S method. For the S method, all you're going to do is you're going to jump as high as you can. From here, you're going to wrap that rope around the front all the way to the back side of your feet. And then it's going to go in between both boots. You'll pinch the rope together. And that's going to apply the brake. From here, in order to go up, all you're going to do is slightly release that rope. Bring your knees all the way up to your chest and push them out for more rope. Once you get all the way to the top, using this method, all you're gonna do once you get to the top, you'll touch the top of the log, and again, to come down, you're just gonna slightly release the brake, going about shoulder width apart, coming down hand under hand. Next technique for the rope climb is called what we call the wraparound method. From here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna, again, jump as high as you can, from here, you're gonna get that rope in between your legs, coming back to the outside of your right leg and back to the inside of that leg. It's gonna be in between the boots. With that right leg, you're gonna have your toe pointed high to the sky. You're gonna bring your knees all the way up to your chest. And then again, you're gonna point that right boot up, reapply that brake, walk your body all the way on top of the rope. You're gonna continue this all the way till you get to the top of the rope. Once you get to the top of the rope, you slap that log. In order to come down, all you're gonna do is slightly release that brake with your left foot, come down hand under hand. 